tension had been running high in the district following a series of violent clashes between two warring tribes, leaving a trail of destruction and loss of lives. However, today marked a significant turning point as leaders from both sides came together to formally agree to a ceasefire. A village leader from the Kinzibi tribe says a word of forgiveness to the Minimbi tribes. God, and yet been kissing around a working man. One can die and by die long, sick, one can die and by die long. Car accident, one by kissing, one can die and come up. Now, body, one blown man, and blown God. Me no got blue one them, or many be one them burn blue me. Me like me black. Now, no bien. I me finish long things we are in a me down. This is a passion in Master Porta. Now, they can't show now, Western Islands. Please, me appeal to you, Clark. You may not can make him this is a passion in a big plan. Suppose, accidentally come up one, two, three, so kill me, die because this is like me passion for God. The signing ceremony held in a show of unity and reconciliation, was attended by a provincial member Y. Rapa, acting provincial police commander Kelly Shope, and Mount Hagen District Court Magistrate Lida Kare. Samuel Ten thanked the provincial member Y. Rapa, police personnel and the peace mediators for their tireless effort and commitment to make this ceasefire agreement a successful. <laughs> And now we have to implement our policies or plans. Now you shall have police personnel go. All Jones commander, all team blue blue, all peace mediation, just let them be blue calm now. To blue tribes and be blue like a sunny man. She's very low and big at big blood and yellow. Representing both tribes, 12 members from each parties signed the ceasefire agreement yesterday at Sam Mara House in Mount Hagen. The ceasefire agreement stands as an inspiration of hope for lasting peace and reconciliation between the two tribes. Edward Luke, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.